Hello and welcome to this overview of Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. Today we're going to be focusing on something very specific in our middleware diagnostics features, in particular our middleware diagnostic advisor that takes more than just pure metrics and configuration information for the entire stack of targets from the WebLogic server down to the actual database, but also goes ahead and correlates them and analyzes them and provides actual advice to go ahead and point you at the root cause as opposed to going ahead and just providing pure metrics. In this case, there's 22 diagnostics findings that have occurred over the last week. If we go ahead and click on our findings, we can go back to the middleware diagnostics dashboard. Within the dashboard, we can see a number of findings have occurred represented here at different time periods. The biggest cluster looks like it happened here between around August 6th to August 7th. We could have also navigated to the dashboard simply by coming through our contextual menu here and coming down through diagnostics and going to the middleware diagnostics advisor. Now let's go ahead and look at some specific findings. So let's go ahead and click on the finding that occurred around 1 a.m. on the 7th. Clicking on that will go ahead and provide us with a high-level summary of this particular finding. We can see this particular finding is indicating a JDBC pool size is small, wait for connections is high. It occurred on MedRec Global data source. It occurred six times in the previous six hours. So we have our high level summary here and for more details we can go ahead and click on this finding. Alright, before we drill down let's go ahead and minimize our navigation bar to give us a little more real estate and go ahead and click on our finding. So now we're in the finding detail. In this case, we're looking at our JDBC pool weight finding. Now we have a variety of data to go ahead and be able to go ahead and analyze the specific finding. First of all, we have our finding description. We have our recommendation here, which is going to be to go ahead and increase the pool size. We'll come back to that in a moment. In addition, we can see some load data. We don't have a ton of load, and thus we don't have a lot of connections going on. But the connections that are going on, we can see basically, specifically, the JDBC weight successes percent is at 16%, which is somewhat high. Now we also have some additional information below. We have a variety of targets, some of which are up, some of which are down. We can get a variety to see all those application deployments, Oracle Management Service. We have our beacon for doing synthetic tests. So we can see all these different related targets that we use to go ahead and calculate the information. We even have the configuration changes that occurred over the last 24 hours. One of these configuration changes possibly could even be a culprit. But we also have the data source information right here where we can see the current values. Now the capacity increment is only one at the moment. The maximum capacity is five. We probably want to go ahead and increase that. Maybe the maximum capacity to ten. In the capacity increment, we can go ahead and bring that up to two. Maybe we might even want to bring up the initial capacity for when the server comes up. Maybe we want to bring it up to five as well, just to ensure that we're lowering this overall JDBC weight successes percentage. Now, in addition to our JDBC pool weight finding, we have a few other type of findings that are built into Enterprise Manager to go ahead and provide you with advice based on pure metrics as well as configuration data across all tiers from the host to the middle tier to the database. One of those is a long-running SQL call, which goes ahead and analyzes the database calls coming from the middle tier. You can dive directly into those sessions and even go ahead and tune your SQL on the fly. We have thread lock findings, we have EJB findings, and we have a variety of other findings that go ahead and kind of analyze the middle tier, keeping in mind that the configuration data, as well as all the metrics, both historical and real time, are stored with an Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. With that, I'd like to go ahead and wrap up the demo, and thank you once again for watching this overview of Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control.